and we get to ginger beer. How do we make the lemonade? Well, let's go from the almond fruit here. Almond fruit, the cow, not my wife, very, very different thing. She is the largest model in Bubbleworks. Now, how do we make the lemonade? And then we had chuckle, <laughs> chortle, <laughs> and then hilarious. And last of all, the four. <laughs> can someone please fix the stick before we all split our side? <laughs> Come now, we must be sensible and serious. Now, the reason I said that is because the second version of Burke stood right here, clutching his gut and rocking back and forth like this, and saying those exact lines again and again. Someone please fix the spit before we spit our sides. <laughs> we must be sensitive to this. You see? So, one in the office, two, yeah. And then now the music becomes a little bit more mechanical. Mm -hmm. So, we take all the gas that comes from urban food and we gauge how much we need to make it laugh. And you'll see that some things like to go wrong in this factory. When it's the spit, the more the problem is, I'll explain a little bit later. <laughs> And look at these little fellows hanging off the tree. Dear me, things do like to go wrong in the back, but don't say. Because the gas has gone wrong. Because this is the extraction room. See the tubes coming from the bubble booster and going in there. And once they did the refurbishment reports. Let's make a little more fun. We're going to make a happy moment instead, which I much enjoy. We kind of put a few kids off. Because this is a dark ride at the end of the day. And then it came out, it was the third best dark ride in the world. Right after Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted House. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. <laughs> so, I think you'll see the bubble in this and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Most interestingly, and we cannot go through this door, through those doors right there is Vampire, the loading bay of Vampire. Let me go through the jungle room in a minute. The loading bay is right under the our feet. So, when John Wadley originally created the concept for Transylvania, he wanted to think a European town. What does every European town have? A beer. Beer brewery. But the kids, the kids probably shouldn't drink any beer. So they made it into lemonade instead. And that's where Professor Burke's bubble works. As you, as you can see, the whole thing is very based on the very German. At the start, there's a big painted landscape. There are more painted landscapes here. The really echo European environments. So, if you like to continue, I will be telling you the same American memories. Except the big bird, different thing. Over there, we used to have the juice jacuzzi. Where they improves the ground down there and enjoys itself to further improve the flavor of the lemonade. Now, the bubble wax is laid out all day and we dress them. And the first duck. And there, another duck. Plenty more ducks coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Plenty more ducks. Oh, yes. Ah, the third duck. Here, there used to be an ostrich that would this the lemonade. And instead, we have a duck. Sitting a bubble bath on the side. Honestly, they've got so lazy since I've been away. Honestly, it's just so lazy. Oh. I do love this room though. It's nice to have a nice mood to change after the horrors of the big scary face. The thought, let's go for something a bit more tranquil. Three lights. Just a cozy. Hip hop elephants. What more would you want? And gas on the other end as well. So the top, we're at Heinz and then Willy. And right down to the bottom, we had a really bad dog. Really and bearing levels, how bad he was gassing. So we hit the bottom, and we're floating up again with this bad gas. <laughs> and there we go. And we're just talking about here. Yeah. We'll keep going for long. The odds will be down to that group. Sorry, Transport of the cola bottles, okay? As you'll see in a minute. We'll see them transport lots of ducks, but back in the day, it used to be cola bottles. And then they go. Ah, and this land here is actually a functioning ladder for engineering to go up here and help fix this stuff. This line is actually.
actually extremely easy to maintain. I'll explain a little bit later. We have a quick trick involved, makes the engineering team safe. So if they put their hand in, you're not going to get it locked off. These are simple motors that turn around in circles. Later on, you see a big polar coaster, which is now a roller coaster. And instead of being a cart going away long, it's simply an illusion. Things going around in a circle like this to make things safe for everyone and make the ride easier to maintain. Okay? Oh, uh, yeah. So, as I said, this is a transport room and my third appearance in Bubbleworks. Just imagine every duck in here, and I know there are a lot of ducks replaced with a cola bottle. So, we had the health up. Shelter. I was up there by the gears. I was on a little bicycle, fighting my way to heaven. And I would say, this is where I recycle <laughs> the empty bottles. It's hard work! <laughs> I've recycled again and again all day long, non stop. I don't have on the lamp over there, not yet. So, this is the polar coaster I was talking about before. Instead of a car going through, things turning around in a circle. A simple illusion that keeps our team safe. And you. Please, never stop. <laughs> they used to have imperial leather original. No, no. So, the reason I stopped you all here very briefly is because it comes to technical bits. As we go through this door, we'll go through the rack. The technical bit, which I may have to ask Emma some help for. When we got there, I want everybody to stay to the right. As I said, six foot drop into water. I know, very exciting. We all have to have a little look. But please do stay to the right. There are tripping hazards, mats on the floor. Okay. Uh, and it's great. So please, again, stay to the right. Got it? Yeah. Of the right. And this is something that happens in most roller coasters in the park. As it's on the right there, right where Emma is standing is a laser, a motion sensor. Well, it's a laser to very help the sun. <laughs> the next laser is just here. You see it in a minute. It's just down here. So, when is it cuts, goes past this point, it allows the next part to move. This means the parts do not hit each other. Makes it sense. Back there, the emission bars move them up. As we go down and start causing acceleration, we don't hit each other. And it's exactly the same on the big roller coasters. Once part one has gone through the section, only once we reach this point, the next part we let loose. So that way we have more than one part to ride at once. Now, we have 28 parts that go on Bubbleworks at a time. We actually have 32. We like to run 28. Is that correct? Look at me and my name. We just need to move around. So we call 38 parts, we just need to kind of wait for the round.
Amen. Um,